Hello, uh, I'm sat with Mr. Vinnie Jones on the set of your new film, Hard Men Get Hard in a Way, which is definitely not homosexual, but still has weapons. It is, though, it's a little bit gay. It's quite a mouthful, isn't it, Vinny? Um, so, so when's this due for release? Listen, it could be this week, it could be next week, it could be next month. Right, OK. Um, can you be a bit more specific? I have absolutely no interest in it. Um, I have nothing to say about it. So the budget's not actually as big as, say, a Hollywood blockbuster. I know they couldn't afford, well, any cast members other than yourself. Didn't didn't you have to? Didn't you have to act in front of, um, like, a box or something? I couldn't have a conversation with a box. You know, it just felt weird. Hello, Vinny. How are you? Oh, that. Oh, <laughs> that must have been. That must have been classic. And uh, and it was it was all so surreal. So you, so you've sort of been doing acting now for the past ten or so years. It doesn't really come naturally to you, does it? Yeah, because you, you you're you're saying stuff. They're telling you to say stuff. Yeah, I'm not I'm not disputing the sort of script process. I'm sort of saying that you know you haven't done acting all your life, so it must be quite difficult. Um, do you sort of struggle learning all your all your scripts? Well, I I I. Learn it. Um, what's the word? Phonet- phonetically. I think I think phonetically is the word you're looking for there, Vinny. Now let, let's talk about Danny Dyer's campaign, Abuse for Women. Now I know you're a strong ambassador of the charity. Um, it just seems to me a little hypocritical because you've been married for 16 years. Is that correct? I think you know people have got to look at. Uh, there's. His wife's involved. There's kids involved, and and whatever they decide is is, is up to them. It's it's not from. I don't know the fella. But you've been seen numerous times with Danny Dyer. Aren't aren't you two guys good mates? Really, Vinny? Let Let's stay on track, okay? Stay with me, Vinny. Um, what are your thoughts about domestic violence? It's 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 a it's a massive topic, and and thankfully I haven't read any of the papers, and 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 it. it Normally, in in house is the best way to deal with stuff. You know, people have got to give all the families a lot of room. There's a lot of families involved here, a lot of kids. Wow, those are those are pretty strong views, Vinny. Well, I know your wife Susan strongly against the abuse for women campaign. How how did you try and convince her? Well, ain't that bad, is it? And I say, shut up. So, what was her response to that then? I'm not going to be a hussy and get on the bed. So let's talk briefly about an incident which you mentioned in your autobiography where you, you punched a woman's head clean off. Really, Vinny? So, so you can't remember it. Well, well, we'll move on to something more topical then. Well, let, let's talk about um, the news in the press today that says after you've been evicted from the Big Brother house, you've sort of suffered a mental breakdown. It's me. It's a tree. I hope you don't mind me bringing up the incident where you sort of defecated over Dame Bowers' bed. Do you want to sort of apologise for that now? I really regretted it. I thought, oh, they're going to kill me for that. Wow, that's that's truly bizarre. Um, what was your thought process during that moment? You haven't been nice to him, have you, Vinny? Well, Mr Jones, it was an absolute pleasure to speak to you. Thanks for taking the time out of your busy schedule. Um, have you got any last words you'd like to say? Hello, Vinny. How are you? Someone help! He's reset! Someone help him! You haven't been nice to him, have you, Vinny?